Thank you so much for joining us live here in the KEXP studios. I'm Cheryl Waters and so happy to be here with a wonderful band, one of so many that we are able to host here in the KEXP studios, thanks to the support of our wonderful listeners. You can learn more about us at kexp.org. Make a gift anytime to support great music discovery. And this band is so wonderful. Very excited about the new album, Gizmo. I'm happy to welcome Tanuki Chan live to the KEXV Studios. So great to have you here. Thank you. I'm, so, I'm so excited to hear these songs live. It's Tanuki Chan. Take it away.
to Tanuki Chan live here in the KEXP studios. to Tanuki Chan live here in the KEXP studios. Played songs from the newest album, Gizmo. I think you've got something from Sundays coming up next. Yep. Awesome. Is my confidence in you unwise?
Ah, so beautiful. You're listening to Tanuki Chan live in the KEXP studios. That song this time comes from the 2018 album Sundays. It's so great to have you here. That sounded so wonderful. Thanks so much. And the first three songs you played are from your fabulous new release, Gizmo. It's your second full length album. And Hannah, it seems like you've really been able to expand outside your musical comfort zone and build on everything from all your previous releases for this new record and added kind of a grungy, angsty sound. How do you feel that you've grown and evolved over the course of all your songs that you've written and recorded? Um, I think especially for this last album, I definitely knew like what I wanted more. Um, just like had a better idea of where I wanted it to go before I started. So I think that was pretty big. You have this wonderful ability to create this timeless sound. And I've heard other people say that about their your music who also love it. And it gives the listener kind of a nostalgic feeling, but everything feels so grounded in the present moment. And on this record, you introduce a sort of new metal vibe, which I know that you love. And it mixes in with your dreamy shoegaze sound. So we definitely feel like we, you know, we're connected to the old Tanuki Chan music, but it really creates an interesting sonic landscape. What pushed you to go in this new direction? Um, I think just like, uh, I just started listening to that stuff again. And probably the pandemic too, just like I felt like that kind of angst and like energy kind of just in your face, like just really resonated with me. Yeah. Well, I know that you grew up playing and listening to classical music. Most of your childhood, you played violin. Yep. And I read in an article that you began to branch out into different genres and listen, different sounds by listening to alternative rock on the radio. And I'm wondering what radio has contributed to your musical discovery? Um, I love radio. I don't know. I listen to like a lot of like oldies. <laughs> that was big. And uh, I don't know, just some pop. Yeah. I mean, even for this last album, I think like um, in the Bay, there's just a lot of like 90s, like R&B and hip hop on the radio all the time. And it's fun to kind of like draw a little from the beats or something. I don't know. Maybe that's where that timeless feeling from your music comes from, mixing all that together. Well, the first song on your record is titled Escape, and it kind of sets the tone for the theme of the album. And music, of course, is a great way to escape. You can escape tough emotions, complex relationships, and the weight of the current state of the world. What was on your mind while writing Gizmo? Um. Yeah, so Escape is like, it was kind of the theme I had, like kicking around for the album and all the songs. And I think it was just like escape from like myself and just like being caught in different like cycles and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I know one of the constant variables in your record is the collaboration with Chaz Bear of Toro y Moi, who we have loved for a very, very long time. And you not only co-write together, but he also produces your records with you and you're signed his label company records. How has that creative relationship grown throughout the years? Um, yeah, I mean, we're pretty good friends. It's just like, I feel like we kind of on the same page as far as like, what, um, I don't know, we want to do, like, working on music is, feels pretty, I don't think it's easy, but, like, we don't ever have to, like, kind of fight about stuff or anything. It's just, like, kind of, it's like, we both agree when it sounds good. A little give and take yeah. there. Well, you third song you played today, Thin Air, features on the record, anyway, uh, the vocals of Aramis Johnson of Tacoma yes. band Enumclaw, who... You know, obviously means a lot to us here from here. And that stands out as your only track that I can think of that features um, someone else on vocals with you. How did that musical partnership come about? Um, that Chaz had met them. So that was through Chaz, too. He was just um, heard about them. I think he met them up here and thought they would be super fun to do a track with. And um, yeah, and they were into the music, too. So I just sent Send it to them, and they send it back. Awesome. But yeah, they're awesome. Nathan, uh, the guitar player, was at our show last night, and they're a great bunch of people. Well, Joe sounded amazing doing those vocals today, and it's so great to have you and Jared and Joe here today. We appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. 
It's Tanuki Chan live here in our KEXP studios. Again, if you'd love to discover more great live music, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at kexp.org. You can also tune in at 90.3 FM in the Seattle area. We've got live radio 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and also streaming at kexp.org and on our free mobile apps. And again, it's always a pleasure to showcase great live music here in the KEXP studios like this session with Tanuki Chan today. Again, a big thank you to the band. Thanks for having us. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.